All right, here's our Zimmer torque wrench cassette. I wanted to go through it specifically mainly because this one seems to have issues with us losing the pieces for it. So this is for a ZimV. The There's a, sm a small thing here which says there's eight pieces in here. And that's kind of our best saying, hey, we have all eight pieces in there. All right. So the reason we do this is to do torque tests on them. This is our actual torque uh, wrench here. Uh, there is a piece that needs to go in here as well. And then anything that's got a torque wrench on it, it's going to require uh, one of these square end pieces. Uh, and so that will have to fit in there. So, for example, this is going to be our torque wrench, piece number one. All right. This is going to be one of the things that will go in here. Now, a couple of things um, is that this is going to be an angled screw channel. So this is one of those screws that can be, normally when you're putting a screw in, you're going to want to go straight down on it. And then this one can also be turned at an angle and still uh, put that screw in there. So we've got that for you. The other piece that's going to go with that is going to be the torque wrench is going to be um, this piece here, this is going to be an implant driver, so this is going to go inside the implant uh, and then it's going to be able to spin that implant. So those are our two torque drivers. We've got a couple of other easier pieces. There's going to be a short one and a long one of this and those are just going to be good old-fashioned thumb drivers or hex drivers and so these will go into uh, healing caps uh, or prosthetic screws. Um, Zimmer notably has uh, a connection that's similar to BioHorizons and Astra and a lot of other things which is a 0 .050 um, um, uh, inch uh, or also known as a 1.25 millimeter. Now the way to make this kit more efficient they have these pieces that are like connection pieces and so there's going to be this thing which is like hey how can I make something into a thumb driver and the piece that goes with that is going to be this one which is what we decided to get for the angled screw driver there's a ball over here uh, so this also works in the same way that this one works um, this one obviously goes into the torque wrench uh, and then this one will go into here Or maybe I can do it. I'm trying to do it with one hand here. Like that. And so now this becomes a thumb driver as well, but there are two separate pieces. Don't ask me why they designed it like that. And the last thing we have here is the actual connection piece um, for the torque wrench. So this one will go inside here. Obviously, if we want to make it go in, we keep it on the inside. If you can see the text there, and if you want to make it out, you'll make it on the outside there and this will this should snap in like that um, and what that means now is that now I can go ahead and put whatever driver so most likely this one when it turns time to uh, torque test an implant all right I hope that is helpful last thing I want to point out is that we do have this sheet that shows what uh, goes into this kit here sorry for the glare uh, but those are all eight pieces that are there. This goes ahead and sits inside the the uh, cabinet there. Uh, last thing I'd like to mention is that when we go ahead and do this, we would like to make sure that everything is separated out uh, into eight pieces. Uh, and so that way when we sterilize it, there's nothing that's uh, jammed in something else that won't get sterilized. Perfect. Thank you.